Splitting headaches, a big birthday, and a giant lobster in the canals of Venice. Here are five things to know before you go to bed. A new study sheds light on the benefits of donating blood. According to research, donating blood regularly can cleanse the bloodstream of so-called forever chemicals made of plastics, often found in food packaging at major fast food chains. Those chemicals can pose harmful side effects such as asthma, thyroid disease, and other lung diseases. Researchers studied the blood of Australian firefighters who donated blood and plastic over 12 months. Suffering from severe headaches is more common than you might think. According to a study from Norway, more than 50% of people worldwide have experienced some form of headache disorders. This includes sinus, tension, and cluster headaches, as well as migraines. A new survey suggests video games are becoming more popular among older adults. The gaming website Fandom Spot interviewed 1,000 players ages 65 and over, and they found that more than three-quarters of the participants said the games helped keep them a younger or help keep a younger and healthier mind, while 76% reported that helped them have a better relationship with friends and family. Queen Elizabeth turns 96 tomorrow. The Queen usually enjoys her April birthday in private, although it is marked by several gun salutes around London. The country formally celebrates the monarch's birth in June with a birthday parade and an appearance by the Majesty on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Queen Elizabeth ascended the throne at just 25 years old and is Britain's longest serving monarch. Quite the scene in Venice, Italy, a floating inflatable lobster coming out of a crate seen sailing down the Giudecca Canal. The traveling model, part of a project called the Lobstars, created by a British artist, made its way 18 miles down the waterway. It was created to highlight, quote, the precarious state of the natural world and the need to recognize its fragility. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.